Hey, come in, don't be shy. Are you okay? Okay. Brilliant. Well, welcome to the ASMR Questions Research Centre. How can I help you today? Okay. Yeah, um, do you have an appointment? Okay, let me just look that up. What time is your appointment for? Okay. Okay, lovely, yeah. So you're here to help us with the relationships and love in the modern age questionnaire. Yeah, it's for a survey. Awesome. Um, well, actually, I'm going to be doing your questionnaire today. So you can take a seat uh, right there if you like. Brilliant. Can I grab you anything? Some water? You okay? Okay, lovely. So, um, we might as well get started if you're ready. Okay, so, um, let me just pull up the questionnaire on the computer here. Have you done one of these before here? I think I remember you. My name's Dream, by the way. Yeah. And if you have any questions for me, you can just let me know, okay? Brilliant. Um, 2022. Love. Relationships. There we go. Yeah, we're conducting um, the survey just to find out about how things might be different in the modern world and because it's near Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. So let's start with the basics. So first of all, are you happy for me to record your answers on our system? Yeah, we'll take your name, but the um, answers that you give us will stay anonymous. Um, the name's just to confirm that you got here for your appointment, fine. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, brilliant. So I'll just be typing your answers um, as we go through the questionnaire. I don't want you to worry about that, don't get distracted by it. Um, and as always, if there is a question that you're uncomfortable with, um, just don't answer it. <laughs> you don't have to answer anything. Um, and I'll just write that you, that you didn't want to answer that one, okay? Okay, so let's start with the hopefully easy question. So what is your full name, please? Okay. Is that with an E? Okay, lovely. And how old are you? Okay. Lovely. And when is your birthday? Oh, wonderful. 26. And a year? Oh, you're nearly the same age as me. So that makes your star sign. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. It's not one of the questions. I just like to add it in there. Yeah, okay. Um, and your home address or a work address if you prefer. Just somewhere we can get in contact with you just in case you need to. Okay. Seven. Drive. Postcode or zip code? Okay. E. Okay, and which country is that in? Awesome. Um, and are you happy for us to use your contact details? Okay, you'd rather not be contacted, that's fine. Okay, are you ready to get started? Awesome. Okay. So those were the first five questions. So number six. What is your sexuality? How long has that been your um, situation? Okay. Are you happy in your current situation? Okay, you can just want to say yes or no. Um, what 
would you change about your current situation, if anything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no judgment here. No judgment here. Okay, and, uh, um, my spelling is not amazing. ever tried online dating? Okay, yes. And if so, which app or apps did you use? Okay. Hinge? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that one's specifically for people Those all fairly similar to one another. Okay, interesting. Alright, just intrigued. Okay, so was that successful? No. Okay. Um, what was your or what is your longest relationship? How long is your longest relationship? valid okay um what is the best date you've ever been on mm. oh wow yeah that sounds nice okay and then they oh wow and this was all in the same day wow okay um let me just think how i can write that yeah i'm gonna do bullet points for that one romantic thing you've ever done for somebody <laughs> okay yeah that's a pretty big gesture yeah I'm sure they're very appreciative okay do you have Valentine's Day plans this year okay have you ever been in love How long does it normally take you to fall in love with somebody? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. Have you ever been unrequited in your love? Okay. Okay, you feeling alright? Yeah, we're about a quarter of the way through. You're doing great. Yeah, you just let me know if you want to have a breather or anything. Okay. Um, the next question says, what's the best thing about being in a relationship? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Hang on a second. Just going to pop that in. Oops. Okay. And the next one is basically the opposite. What's the best thing about being single? Yeah, free time. Okay. 
Okay, uh, when you are in a relationship, so your current relationship, if you're in one, or uh, past relationships, or if you've never been in a relationship, future relationships, um, are you needy? Are you a needy partner? Okay. And a similar vein, are you clingy? So, I suppose it's a bit different, yeah. You can be one but not the other. Or neither, or both. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, do you get jealous easily? Okay. Would you prefer to have a partner who has loads of friends, a big group of friends, or no friends? Or no close friends? Okay, and why is that? Right. Okay, have you always felt that way? Or is this based on an experience you've had? Hmm. Okay, well it might be. I'm not here to comment. Do you have any regrets about love or relationships in your life? Okay, no, no need to tell me what those are. Okay, what is one thing that you and any potential partner need to agree on? One thing that you and a potential partner need to agree on. So like, it's not going to work unless we agree on blah blah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because it's important to you. Are you good at communicating? Okay. So it kind of depends. Yeah? Okay. Um, are you usually attracted to somebody because of their looks or their personality? Or both? Or neither? Is the most romantic thing somebody's ever done for you? Wow. Okay, so they flew over. Do you see? And he didn't. Oh my gosh, okay. That is really romantic. Yes, okay. Yeah, like in a film or something. Okay, anyway. Um, do you care about star sign compatibility? So like obviously we know you're a... Uh, yeah, yeah. And presumably you are most compatible with sun star signs. So would that bother you when you were choosing a partner? Would it affect you in any way at all? Would you even consider it? Would you let it be everything? Okay. Yeah. I think most people come under that category. It's kind of interesting, but it's not a deal breaker. Okay. Would you consider a long distance relationship? Okay. Possibly. How far are we talking? Okay, so like, same country. What about they were in a different country? Okay. Or like a different continent? Hmm. Okay, I agree. But yeah, okay, obviously that was true though. The next question is do you like to text your significant other every day if you have one? Or if you have had or if you were to have one. Okay, no. Have 
you ever send somebody flowers? Okay. Do you like alone time or being with other people? Or a bit of both? <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you a forgiving partner? So when you're in a relationship, are you forgiving of the other person? They made mistakes. Or... Okay. Yeah. Now I see where you're coming from. Okay. Okay, ready to move on to the next question? Yeah. Um, is it important to you that you get on with your partner's family? Yeah. Who, uh, with who did you share your first kiss? Okay. And how old were you? 16, okay. And where did it happen? Okay. Okay. Um, if you've not already been married or are married, would you like to get married or would you like to get married again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. What's something that a partner could do for you that would make you really happy? Mm. Yeah, like a little thing. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. And the next question is, do you have a usual type? Okay. Blue eyes. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Okay. Okay, and who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> okay. And they are a singer. Yeah. Styles. Okay. Brilliant. So that was question 15, we're halfway through. Um, you're doing great. I really appreciate the amount of detail you're giving in your answers. Um, it's going to help us with um, what we're looking to find out. So um, I'm just good to continue if you are. Okay, brilliant. I don't think it'll be too much longer. Oh, you're quite enjoying it. Yeah, some people do say that it helps them feel relaxed, just answering the questions, yeah, and hearing the typing sounds. I quite like doing it as well. Yeah, okay. Anyway, right, um, question 51. Have you ever dated somebody who has a different first language than you? Okay, yeah. And what about a partner with an age gap? So we're talking like five years plus, so I wouldn't say three years in age gap. I suppose it depends how old you are at the time. Okay, so you were... Uh, the other person was oh okay so that makes your age gap yeah okay uh do you think that relationships with large age gaps um so we're talking like 20 years plus can work yeah of course it's true love. nice answer okay how much would you be willing to change yourself for the right person? None. And have you ever dated somebody who you work with? Or if you don't work, maybe who you went to school with? Okay. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I'll put yes. And no judgment here, yeah, no judgment at all. Okay, question 56. Have you ever attended a wedding? Okay, did you have a nice time? Uh, who are the happiest couple you know in real life? Okay.
I'm getting the eye oil. Oh. Okay, whose relationship do you admire? So it could be the same people that you just said, or it could be, I don't know, a famous couple. Or... Mm, good answer. Okay. And you would like to be in a relationship like that? Yeah, or as much as you know about it. Okay, brilliant. Uh, number 59. How do you express your love? So with words, actions, giving gifts. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Oh, okay. I'll put this one then. Okay, brilliant. The next question says, have you ever dodged a bullet? So, in terms of not like a real bullet, but have you ever um, had like a near miss romantically? So, um, someone that you almost went out with and then you found out they weren't very nice or something. Yeah, okay. That's good. So, who in your life do you love the most, but in a non-romantic way? So like, maybe a parent, or your pet, or a friend? Okay. And you love them. Yeah, that's nice. Because love can be... doesn't have to be romantic. Like, love for your family, or Get the next question. Um, oh, okay, this one's a good one. Get like lots of mixed answers to this one. Do you tell your friends if you don't like their partner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. It's not a great situation to be in. No. Okay, so. I think. Okay, so the other kind of way round of this question, number 63, is the approval of your friends important to you? So if you met somebody new, would it be important to you that your friends would like them and get on with them? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. What about your family? Same question. question is, have you ever liked somebody who was dating someone else at the time? Okay. And how did that situation resolve? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, if you went to school, um, did you ever have a crush on your teacher? with the flow or is it important to you to know where a relationship is going right from day one okay do you make that clear to a new partner bumped into an ex whilst on a date with someone else. <laughs> mm, okay. And when was that? 2015. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, just pop in there. Coffee shop. Okay. 
Okay, have you ever considered not breaking up with somebody who you want to break up with because you would miss their pets too much? Mm hmm Okay, that's good. I'm happy for you. Okay, question 73. Do you believe in soulmates? Just a yes or no, it's fine. Okay. So, is there somebody out there for everyone? <laughs> okay. In your opinion, what is the best way to meet a new romantic partner? In this day and age. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, question 76. Are you a trusting person? Just in general. Okay, how do you feel about PDA? So public displays of affection. Mm -hmm. What about when other people do it? Okay. Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Who will you say? Okay, um, 78. Mm, have you ever made someone a mixtape or a playlist? Depending on how old you are, I suppose. A mixtape or a playlist for somebody else. <laughs> That's cool. What was it called? Okay, and what was the first track? Nice. Uh. is your most embarrassing dating or romance story or anecdote I suppose mm-hmm okay no way okay been on holiday, as in like vacation, with a significant other. <laughs> okay, cool. And have you, oh, okay, this one's similar but different. Have you ever met a romantic partner while you were on holiday? Not as in met them, met up with them on holiday, but did you meet them on holiday? Like, um, like a holiday romance. Have you ever had a holiday romance? I think is what's trying to ask. Okay, the next question says, what's the most money you've spent on a gift for a significant other? Okay, is that in pounds or dollars? Euros, okay. Okay, would you agree to a blind date? So if you're single, um, and one of your friends wanted to set you up on a blind date, would you agree to it? <laughs> okay. Would you consider in that vein, would you consider going on a TV dating show? Actually on television. Okay, yeah. So like, yeah, depending. So it's like first dates, but not like, I don't know, am I right at first sight or something? Yeah. Oh my good, Have you ever seen? Okay. 
Do you consider yourself to be attractive? Brilliant. And when do you feel at your most attractive or oh, beautiful and some powerful words you like to use? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Question number 87. Do you usually date people who you think are better looking than you? Okay. And do you often find yourself taking on other people's traits or mannerisms when you're in a relationship with them? Um, I think it means like, um, I don't know if your partner said like, a certain phrase a lot, you start finding yourself, start saying it as well. Or, um, they have a different accent in you, maybe? Like, um, you start saying words that they use that you didn't use to say before. It's not saying it like, is, is it a bad thing? It's just asking whether you do it, or if you know if you do it. Not, I mean, sometimes people don't know they're doing it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Question 89. Would you get a matching tattoo with a significant other? Okay, yeah. If you are How regularly do you like to see your loved one? Okay, it's so like every weekend or every few months or day. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, what is the craziest thing that you've done for love? That is pretty wild. Okay, uh, question 92. How did your upbringing affect your feelings about Relationship and love. Relationships and love. How were your feelings about that affected by your upbringing, do you think? Mm. Okay, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that. Yeah, okay, so your family. Yeah. Okay, question number 93. What is a deal breaker for you in a relationship? Okay. 94. Who can you talk to in your life about love and relationships? So if you're having a romantic issue or you need some advice, who would you talk to? Friend or parent? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, question 95. What is your favourite love song? Oh, they lovely. And who's that by? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I do know the one you mean. I'm in that vein. Has anyone ever written a song for you? Okay. No. Have you ever kept a lock? Question 98. Do you like to share your relationship online? So are you sharing a lot of photos and updates on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, that kind of thing? Or are you more private? Mm. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense because you just don't know. Okay, number 99. What's your favourite romantic film? Okay, brilliant. Uh, Last question is, what do you think the future holds for you romantically? Oh, that's 
for answering the questions for us today. I'm just going to save your survey and upload it onto our system and you're free to go. Yeah, of course, yeah, you can uh, grab one of the freebies on the way out. Brilliant, it was lovely to meet you. Have a wonderful day and uh, maybe we'll see you soon next time we do a survey. Yeah, sounds good.